Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and I am a longtime tech enthusiast. And for those of you that already follow my YouTube channel, you know I talk a lot about a variety of different things. Occasionally I do some business videos, and that's what this is. And it's how I apply kind of the DevOps or system engineering thinking to business, or at least specifically to my business. And I figure these analogies will ring well for those of you that are systems engineers or you know work in tech as well. But first, if you'd like to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hire us button right at the top. If you want to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel, including a link to our Patreon if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter. We also have a swag store where you can get shirts and other items that are for sale, and that changes from time to time what's available and what's not, so go ahead and check that out frequently. And finally, our forums. If you'd like to have a more in-depth discussion about this video, suggestions for new videos, or just reach out, say hi, and talk tech, our forums are a great place for that. All right, now back to the content. I am a longtime tech enthusiast. I have been playing with computers and working in the industry for over 20 years. I've had this business for 17 years. Now, there's a lot of different concepts in business, and you can read a million different books on business, and you may even find conflicting ideas from different people who both found success with those ideas. And that's because, well, there's a lot of different styles. But I want to talk about analogies that may ring true to, I think, a lot of my audience's probably in the tech field. So these are analogies that may help you understand it, or at least help you understand what I do here. And a lot of my concept is applying the DevOps or system engineering thinking to business. What do I mean by that? Well, you wouldn't just store data on a single hard drive. You're going to put it on a RAID array. You're going to come up with redundancies. You're going to come up with processes and flows. You're also not going to manually back up computers. You're going to create a process automation for that. You're not going to put a bunch of computers that we have to manage under our MSP agreements and contracts and check in on them every day. That's just inefficient and not a great way to run it and keeps you very busy and not any time to innovate if you do that. So you create processes, you buy software, you create large levels of automation. That same process works for business. I take anything and manage by exceptions. What do I mean by that? Everything is a process procedure, and until you have process procedures, because this comes back to, well, I need to hire staff to do that, you can't even hire staff if you don't have processes for them. If not, they sit around twiddling their thumbs. I've talked about this before when you hire your staff. I've got other business videos on this topic that, well, if they can't follow procedures or you can't write procedures for them, you don't have, you're not ready yet for having staff. Everything is about process automation and figuring out how to free up your time. Now, some people like to be deeply busy and that's fine. If you want to be deeply busy and involved in everything, that's great. But, and this is my opinion, that is very likely to hinder your growth because if you spend all the time actually doing and programming and setting up and installing um, and never create a process by which someone else can follow for it or every time a client calls you want to be the frontline person talking to them every single time you're going to inhibit growth i have really worked hard over the years to constantly look and manage by exception just like you do with a backup system so the backups are just going and everything's great. You got little green lights on the dashboard. You know everything's good. You've got whatever indicators you have, and the same ones can apply to business. And you manage by the one system that is having a problem. You go, oh, that one didn't back up. Why didn't? So what can we do? And of course, you're looking at how can we stop that process from breaking again. The same thing applies to business. I've created procedures for all of my staff, for all of them, and any one of them. So any one of them knows what process to follow. What do you do when the phone rings? What do you do when a client wants this? What is the template you have to, they go, hey, I, I need to upgrade my Wi-Fi. Well, all right, we have kits. We have everything set up so they can quickly go, all right, this is how much a new wiring run is gonna cost. We're gonna go out and quote it. Uh, they know who to talk to to quote it. They know who to talk to to get the wiring dropped. Those process and procedures are really important. And they're what allow me to have a lot more free time to spend time researching what products we should be using. And I bring it up because like I'm looking over here, I got the phones over here, and how did I even choose these phones? Well, I chose what I think worked best for the phone systems, for the phones we're gonna use, the process by which we sold it, the way we do the pricing. I'm constantly working on that and making sure it runs like a fine-tuned machine. And if there's any exceptions to it, or if I don't think the, you know, the margins are right on it, I'll make adjustments. But I don't get myself involved in the actual sitting down and programming all of them. I may do it for a video and I do start with the high levels of things and then whittle them down to a process to make sure that, all right, this is the process that my staff is going to follow. But that's what's important is that I have time to do that. I probably only spend right now 
roughly less than 20 hours a week actually doing things within my business. Everything else is either making YouTube videos or just researching products and playing with technology because that's where my passion lies and what I really want to do. And the outcomes of those is evident. You know, all the different YouTube videos I have or all the different new technologies my staff is using or the new things they're implementing and things I've learned and ways we deploy it. I'm always so, you know, constantly innovating. That is what's keeping our company very successful. It's what keeps clients interested in us because we have new things that we can send to them that help bring efficiency to to their process as well. And that's that whole DevOps thinking. Even my accounting, I use a fully outsourced accounting firm. This also helps with my business continuity planning because what happens if Tom doesn't spend 20 hours a week working on a business? Well, Tom can take some time off then the innovation stops for a little while, but functionally, the phone will still ring, the payroll will happen, the deposits will happen. All those mundane processes, I have just built automation around. So even without me in the middle of it every day, it still flows. And that's an important thing that I think you should be working towards as a business owner, because if you're not working towards that, you can't grow as a company, you can't innovate on product, you can't stop and think, all right, how do we do this better? Because you're too busy doing, not thinking doing it better. This is that old adage of you gotta work on the business, not in the business. And the way you detach from that is creating process automation. So get out your DevOps hat, just like you probably already had on, and just take and apply those same concepts to your business. And it will really, once you start looking at it from that standpoint, you're trying to put processes around there, the people fall into place. Once you start with that, then you can start putting staff members in because, oh, I know this process. And you're following the process yourself. You created the process, which means you can then train someone to do that process. That's what allows you to grow as a company. That's what allows you to keep innovating. It's what allows you to stay on top of things a lot better from an external perspective on the business. And generally, this is what keeps me really happy. I mean, I'm, I don't know if this is the right thing for you. Maybe you're happy being absolutely uh, busy and involved in every little detail and every little meeting, micromanaging everything. I do know people who seem to find great joy in that. Um, I am as far from that person as possible. I'm always like, hey guys, let me know how it went. Let me know how that sales job went. Uh, I'm fine to manage that by exception. I still do client interaction. I still enjoy talking to clients and things like that. So it's not like I've removed myself completely. I've still come, so to speak, the face of the business and I still do consulting work um, that I offer where people can hire me directly. I'm not 100% removed and I don't want to be 100% removed so I do like a level of involvement. I just don't like being the detail person who sets up every single firewall and every single sale because, well, that would really inhibit growth of the company and the company is growing. That's the status of us right now in May of 2020 20. Things are going really well, not just for my YouTube channel. So thank you, thank you for all of you who subscribe to it, but also uh, business-wise, things are going really well. And these process and procedures have been working for me for a long time. So I can leave, lead a life that makes me both happy, makes me some money. I get to do some videos and uh, share my knowledge with the world and get people you know, excited about technology and new things I talk about as well. Have a good staff with a great atmosphere. All the things I want, I'm really thankful for all those things, but they do require a lot of work and automation to keep it going. Uh, those are my thoughts on that and thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.